In this video, I will show you how to prepare a last to import into Gravity Sketch. I've imported this last into Rhino 7, and we can see it's a very dense triangulated mesh. It currently has over 50,000 vertices. To check the info of your last, simply select it, go to Properties, and Details. This will give you the vertice and face number. We need to get this number under 10,000 vertices in order to convert this into a sub-D object inside of Gravity Sketch. We also need to convert this into a quad mesh instead of a triangulated mesh. Luckily, we can do this with one single command. We're going to use the quad remesh command. So go ahead and select your last, go to the sub-D tools tab, and then at the top here you have the quad remesh icon, or in the command line, you can go ahead and type in quad remesh and hit enter. You'll get this pop-up with a bunch of different options. The main one we're concerned with is this target quad count. This is going to be the number that it recalculates to and tries to match the number of faces. So the higher this number, the more vertices and faces we'll have. However, the more vertices and faces, the more complex this will be to work with inside of Gravity Sketch. I'm going to use the default 500 here. And then for adapt to size percent, I'm also going to leave this at 50. And this is going to give us a pretty decent remesh. We can go ahead and click preview here. And at the very bottom, you'll notice that it starts to load. Uh, while we're waiting for that to load, you can go ahead and hit hide input objects. And once it's done, we can see that remeshed last. Uh, we can also toggle this off to see how good of a job it did really matching the rest of the last here. Now, I'm pretty happy with this. It matches up with the original last and has reduced it by quite a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK here. And then we can drag this down, and we now have our quad remeshed last. So this current one has 814 vertices. I would recommend going and playing around with how many quad counts you get. You can go as low as 50 is what I'm finding to be successful. Anything lower than this, and it starts to look like a potato and less like your actual last. Now, the higher you go, the closer this will be to the, your original factory production last, but the harder this is going to be to work with inside of VR. So I would recommend finding that, that sweet spot in between, you know, that fidelity of the original last and what's going to be easy to work with. I find that to be in between this 50 to 1000 range, depending on the overall last shape and how hard some of the edges and lines are going to be. Once you're happy with one of these, we can go ahead and select the one we want and then go to File, Export Selected. I am going to rename this Quad Remesh Last, and we want to make sure we save it as an FBX and click Save. In the pop-up here, I'm going to leave it as a Mesh Only, Fong, and Map Rhino Z to FBXY and hit OK. After importing into Gravity Sketch, we can simply grab the last, click the blue edit button, click convert to sub D icon, and then up the subdivision level. And now we have a smooth sub D last to continue using inside of Gravity Sketch.